Mabuhay! Welcome to the Philippines, adventurers and explorers. Now, out of all the phenomenal things you can do in our lovely country, there's one life event in particular you gotta try. Mark, tell them what it is. It is, in fact, interacting with the whale shark, the biggest fish in the ocean. And you can do that right here in Donsol Sorsogon on the southern part of the island of Luzon. And let me tell you, it is amazing because this is one of the few places on the earth where there are lots of whale sharks. That is correct. Now, here's a bit of trivia. You like trivia? I love trivia. The whale shark is locally known as the Butanding and as Mark mentioned before, this is one of the few places not just around the country but around the universe where you can interact with the whale shark and most especially they are well loved here. How much do we love them? We love them this much! Now before we get to interact with the whale shark, there are some very important tips that you need to pay attention to. Let's watch this. You are about to embark on an unforgettable adventure one of the most remarkable natural encounters on Earth. Welcome to Don Sol Sorsogon, home of the whale shark, the biggest fish in the world. Growing up to 18 meters in length and weighing as much as 34 tons, these gentle giants, known in the Philippines as Butanding, have congregated in these waters for many years. After traveling great distances, these animals return each year to Don Sol to feed on microscopic plants and animals called plankton. Their constant presence has made them a natural wonder and has changed the life of this town forever. Although they are vulnerable to hunting in some parts of the world, whale sharks are now valued as a major Philippine ecotourism attraction and a source of national pride. Donsol is the first and only municipal whale shark sanctuary in the country, and the killing and sale of whale sharks has been forbidden by law in the Philippines since 1998. By coming to see the whale sharks, you have now become a part of their remarkable story and are contributing in an important way to their welfare. Through your visit, you are supporting a tourism industry that is dedicated to protecting these animals while providing a sustainable livelihood for an entire community. Because this is an encounter in the animal's natural environment, however, and not with whale sharks in cages or aquariums, their appearance is not guaranteed. Still, it is important to remember that whale sharks are wild animals and they can be greatly disturbed by large numbers of unruly visitors. By following proper interaction guidelines and making sure that your companions do the same, you will help ensure that these creatures can continue to seek food and refuge in peace here in this place which has become their home. Your adventure begins with a visit to the Butanding Interaction Center of the Municipal Tourism Office. You will register and view an orientation video on the proper procedure for a safe and fruitful interaction. Fees for the boat, spotters, and Butanding interaction officer will be paid here. You will be assigned a boat and a BIO who will accompany you on your interaction. Let's go on the road! All right, yeah! Please bring your mask, snorkel, fins, and other belongings. Your boat will depart from the tourism office. Up to six visitors can board a boat and interact with a whale shark at a given time. During peak season from March to May, a maximum of 30 boats will be allowed at sea at one time, with a limit of three hours interaction time for each boat to minimize congestion in the whale shark's feeding area. The BIO will be your point man during the interaction. Please listen to and follow his instructions at all times. When a whale shark appears, the BIO will instruct you to prepare. Once he gives the signal, enter the water as quietly as possible and follow his lead, as the water may be murky because of all the plankton. Listen well to your assigned BIO as he reminds you about the following rules and regulations that will make your interaction safe and smooth. 
Number one, don't touch or ride the whale shark. Number two, don't block the whale shark's path. Number three, keep a distance of three meters from body, four meters from tail. Number four, no flash photography. Number five, no jet ski, scuba gear, and underwater propulsion. Number six, maximum of six visitors allowed per whale shark. Number seven, maximum of five minutes per interaction. Please note that any tourists found violating the code of conduct and harassing the animals will be escorted back to land and will not be allowed to return for further interactions. If you find that your BIOs or boat operators are also violating any rules, please inform the Municipal Tourism Office. Such enforcement is necessary to maintain an effective interaction system and to ensure the well-being of all animals as well as the safety and enjoyment of all visitors. It's like swimming with a school bus. It's phenomenal. <laughs> wow. They are so big, huge, but they're just, they seem to be moving so slowly, but you got to swim so hard to keep up with them. But they're totally chill, totally relaxed. You don't feel like you're in danger because they're you know that they're not going to harm you. It's just, it's a life-changing experience. The opportunity to come close to one of the most magnificent creatures of the marine world is both a privilege and a responsibility. One of our main reasons for coming to the Philippines was to see the whale sharks, and we were so lucky we not only got to see one, but we got to see two. It was uh, great having that uh, really, really close encounter and interaction with the uh, animal of that size. Huge animal. I haven't seen that big a fish before. We haven't been uh, in other places, but when we got here to the Philippines, we, this was our goal to see whale sharks. So we decided it's worth uh, doing uh, an extra days of uh, traveling just to get here to, to see them the right way. In the yeah. wild. Yeah. yeah. What you see here right now is a work of collaboration between different sectors and different agencies. Modesty aside, Dunsol is one of the best ecotourism products in the Philippines. Coming third after Palawan and Bohol. When we came to tourism in Dunsol, we were able to find a lot of things that we should have to do. It's a great thing that I can't afford to get here in the Philippines. From the beginning of my BI, it's a great thing that I can teach my children. This whale shark is the biggest center of ecotourism in Dunsol. We grew up with them, so they're a member of the family. So it's not hard for us to protect and conserve them in general. The way we protect our own family is also our way of protecting them. But it comes second skin at salmon. You can see that uh, the whale sharks would benefit, the communities would benefit in this type of uh, collaboration. Specifically the local government of Nansol, the Department of Tourism, and uh, the communities. Let us become true stewards of our whale sharks so we can continue to enjoy the blessing of their presence for many more generations to come. Oh, that was awesome! That was mind-blowing. Well oh. done, well done. You Woo. Up Let's do it. it again. Oh, and again, and again, and again. Ah, uh, you know what? The great thing about uh, swimming with the whale sharks here in Don Sol is because they really protect and look after the, uh, the whale sharks. They do it the right way. Yes, the right way, the ethical way. It's such a transcendent experience. You can't get this anywhere else. And when you do come here, in addition to helping out the local communities, you also educate yourself and you have a lasting memory that, that you can just share with everybody, you know? And it is a true ecotourism spot. Uh. Great job? Yes. All right. Okay. I'm ready to go in again. You guys ready? Ready! Yay! I want to be a BIO. Oh, BIO. Yeah. yeah, well, I want to be Putandine. Yeah, yeah. Kumatari. <laughs>